Hello? Hello? Yes. Yes, brother. Are you Muslim, my friend? Yes. Okay. Uh, I just okay. wanted to call you a liar because I, I opened your book. Okay. And you said that, uh, that all the names of Allah, they start by Al, which is wrong. I want you to apologize for lying. Uh, okay, all the name of Allah. What What is the name of Allah start with? Not all of them start with L. Give me uh, give me an example. You just said Al Jalalain. You just you just said Al Jalalain. No, Dhul Jalali wal Ikram. Zu it says the it one. What is the Dhu. name? What is the name? What is the word Dhu? Is it says the one. So Al Jalalain is his name. No. What no? His you just said you are the one saying to me Dhul Jalalain. Dhu is a word mean the one. The one would what Al Jalalain. So this is what the description is Al Jalalain. So you get yourself busted. No, you said in your book that all I, names... No problem, I, I just got you busted. You are the one who picked up the name to prove me wrong, supposedly, and you got yourself busted. Al-Jalalain, Al-Azim, Al-Rahman. Allah, Allah itself started... There is with... no such name as Al-Jalalain. You, you just say... There is no Al-Jalalain. You just said that, not me. Use Jalal, use Jalal, right? I said Dhul Jalal Yeah, Dhul Jalal. Okay, so... Al Jalal, is it no, starting? Jalal is it, start is it a start? Zu right. is not the name. Zu it is describing who, correct? What the word do in Arabic mean? Uh, the one who has something. Thank you very much. So it's not the name. Your God, the, your God, your, his name is the one who has. Who has uh, Al Jalal or Ikram? Okay, but your God name, yeah. your God name, the one who has his. This is his name, the one who has. No, Dhul Jalal. You See, here we go. So Al Jalal. So, so the name of your God is start with the L. Thank you very much. And now listen. As long you are calling me and talking about a line in my book, can you tell me what the name? Or, or, you know why Allah is saying that He is the one with the Dhul Jalal wal Ikram? What does that mean? Explain. Translate to the people so people can laugh. Oh uh, no, I'm, I'm not. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not good in English. What do you mean? Yeah, okay, to explain to me in, in Arabic if you want. No problem. Because when you say he said he is the one with the Jalal and Al Ikram, Allah is saying that about Himself. Yeah, so why He's saying? So why He's saying it is He? He? He's talking about who? Why He don't say I am the one with the Jalal and Ikram? He's saying Dhul Jalali wal Ikram. Yeah, so he's talking about somebody besides, else. When we say the names of Allah, hmm. we, we, uh, we Did, say that He okay. has Jalali wal Ikram. No problem. When you are saying to me, when you recite the name of Allah, but did Allah give you the names in the list and He told you this is my names? Or this is how you pick them up from the Quran and from no, the Hadith? He didn't, but yeah, they were picked up from uh, the Quran and other sources. Thank you. So Allah, He did not name Himself with such a thing. This is not a name. How that can be a name? Dhul Jalal wal Ikram is not even a name because if it's a name, then I can call him by but that. In your book. No, my friend, I'm showing you in my book. In, your in book, my book, you I'm showing. Say, uh, I'm showing the Muslims that they have no idea what they are talking about. I'm asking you now, how you can call him Dhul Jalal wal Ikram? How that can be a name? Did Allah say my name is Dhul Jalal wal Ikram? Oh, but if you open uh, Islamic uh, scriptures, mm -hmm. you're going to find that God has 99 names. My friend, I am, them, I am, my friend, I'm asking you, you said Islamic scripture, this is a lie. Where is the scripture that says that Allah name, Allah, he said that my name is etc. Can you show me the verse? No, I can't. I don't know it. Okay. No, I'm asking you, does, did he say such as a thing that he is the one his name is? You know, I can say, okay, uh, somebody is a smart, but doesn't mean his name is a smart, correct? Do you agree? I don't, I don't know that, but all, my, my point is, my, if you search, everybody knows that, that Allah has 99 names. No, right? this is, uh, first, of okay? all, first of all, this is a false statement, and I challenge the Muslim to show me the 99 names in the Quran, and then we will laugh. All what Zul well, Jalal, look, look what the verse saying. Look, look, look what the verse says. Look what the verse says. Chapter 55, verse number 27. It says, Zul Jalali wal Ikram. 
Okay. Is that a name? No. It says, the translation, the face of the Lord, full of majesty, bounty, and honor. What? How this became a name? I don't know. I don't care. But in your no, you you care. That no. So we, so we, so we, so we got you busted, my friend. We got you busted in two things. Muslims, they lie when they say this is one of the names of Allah. I can find you that more, more than 70% of the names you call them names for Allah are not names is a fabrication because this is going to be a name. It's not. Okay. Okay. And you should, should have, you should have written that in your book. No, your I'm, book I'm showing you. No, I'm showing you. Oh. I'm showing you what you believe. No, you see, this is what I believe, but I am talking about your belief. I believe that whoever says Allah have 99 names is a fool because it doesn't say such a thing. Where in the Quran Allah, he says, my name is the majesty, the bounty, the honor. He did not say that. It is you who went to the verse and you said, okay, and you are the one who said to me, if you read Islamic scriptures, you will find it says that. But I, I, I did read the Islamic scriptures. I could not find that it says that. It's just description. Those are not names. So you made them names. Now, let me ask you, when Allah, he was called a Rahman, who called him a Rahman? Uh, it's uh, it's us. It's uh, the scholars, I think, or maybe the prophets in some hadiths. Okay. Is it true that your prophet he receive a letter from a person his name is Ar-Rahman, Rahman al-Yamama, and then uh, he like it, he copy it, and he says, "Okay, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim." Is that true? He start using the word Ar-Rahman uh, after he stole it. Huh? I don't know about this story. Okay, read for me chapter 17, verse number one thing. Can you please? Yeah, sure, I'm gonna turn on my laptop now. No problem. One sec. Hmm. No problem. Can't you open your phone? Aren't you calling me from the phone? Search new phone, chapter uh, 17. Very small on the phone, sorry. Huh? Okay, just, just a second. Hmm. I'm on it. No problem. Take your time. Actually, I want to thank this guy because he's a brave, not like other Muslims who they are scared to call and say, hey, Christian Prince, you are lying. I want to get you busted. At least he's a brave. You know, so I really work on him. Okay, you said chapter what? Chapter 17, verse number 110. Hmm. Okay, so why they are questioning what is the story? Uh, say I call him Allah or call him a Rahman. Whatever you call him, all the names, the good names belong to Allah. What kind of an answer is that? Why they said that to him? The Arab, they start saying to Muhammad, who is, who is a Rahman? Who is a Rahman? They were questioning him, why you are saying his name is a Rahman? Now Muhammad is worshipping two gods. One, his name is Allah, and the other one, his name is a Rahman. So what Muhammad, he answered him, he says, I call him Allah, or I call him a Rahman. It doesn't matter, all good names belong to Allah. Right? Yeah. Okay, so, but, yes. you, but you notice here that Muhammad, he spent half of his life did not use the word of Rahman. Oh, his this is this is the chapter of Isra. Correct? Yes. Okay. When yes. when chapter of Isra came down to him? Mm -hmm. When do you know? Uh, I don't know. Okay. So no, I don't, I don't was it was it the first chapter in the Quran? No. Okay. So all the chapters came before it, before he received this verse, he was not using a Rahman because people they were they were they were surprised. If we go right now and read the interpretation, let's read together. 
chapter 17 verse number 10 i will open your islamic interpretation uh we will go to the book it's called asbab al nuzul all right i'm sure you heard of it right uh, yeah, so we will go to Asbab al Nuzul and we will see what Asbab al Nuzul say about this verse. Why this verse? What what happened? You will notice that the people they were questioning him. Why? Who is Allah? They never heard him saying Allah. So what happened now? Why he is calling him Allah? Suddenly Allah is exist. Sorry, as Ar Rahman. Sorry, suddenly Ar Rahman is exist in the in the names of a list of Muhammad, and he is saying things they never heard before. Which means you're a prophet. I don't see anything wrong with that. Which no, there's a problem because you Muslim in, in, in the beginning of every chapter you have Bismillah ar Rahman ar Rahim. So who is the one who add a Rahman in the front of every chapter if Muhammad never said that chapter before, never said that verse before, never said that name before? Actually the scholars do not agree that the Bismillah is actually a part of uh, the the Quran. Thank you very much. So you are agreeing now that the Quran is correct because the Bismillah is not part of the Quran. You Muslim, you add it. Of course, the Quran is not uh, is not preserved. I agree. Okay, so the Quran is not preserved, and now we find that Ar Rahman was a hiding name for Allah all this time. Can you tell me why Muhammad never mentioned that name before? Because uh, it's gradual, well, you cannot tell them all the names at once. Ah, uh -huh. okay. So uh, let me ask you: When you pray five times a day, what what the what the chapter you recite? Al Fatiha. Al Fatiha, wonderful. And what the Fatiha says? Uh, Rahman Rahim. Bismillah Rahman Rahim. But you just said the Bismillah is not part of the Quran. So why you are reciting when you pray, verses are not part of the Quran? I don't actually, I don't pray. Oh, you don't pray? Ah, okay. So why you don't pray? You don't want to be a Muslim no more? Oh, because uh, in the Quran there is no, there is no description of the actual prayer. Oh, okay. That's a good point actually, guys. We have a religion, this, this, this prophet, he have time to tell me about eating ajwa. He have time to tell me about the rat is not drinking milk. He have time to tell me about the flying carpet of Suleiman, but he did not tell me how to pray. Hmm. Yeah, the, the Quran is actually corrupt, I agree with you. Okay, so the Quran is corrupt and you agree with me. So what, how you can be a Muslim following a corrupt book? How you, how you want to practice your religion now if the Quran is corrupt? I do meditation. Ah, you, uh, so you are a Buddha now? No, for me, praying is like uh, concentrating and meditating and uh, just feeling the, the, the presence of God around you. Okay, so you do believe in Allah or any God? I mean, how you know that Allah is your God? Because now you just say the Quran is corrupt, you agree with that. Because even Yasser Kadri, uh, meaning hijab, if you remember, they said the, the, the narrative have holes, and as you, you agreed with that, so the, the whole Quran is have holes, yeah. the whole Quran is a hole actually. Okay, so now how you will know your God is Allah? How you will know that this is his real name if the Quran is corrupted? And the first verse in the Quran is Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. And you say this is not exist in the Quran, they add it later. So Allah is not exist, ar-Rahman is not exist, ar-Rahim is, Rahim is not. so you follow who? I follow my instincts actually. I just believe that there is some superior being who but created my friend, us. And my friend, I don't, know, I don't know what's your name. What's your name? What I should call you? You can call me uh, Zuhair. Zuhair. Mr. Zuhair. When you yeah. call me, you said to me that the name of Allah starts with Zul Jalal, right? Yes. Okay. And you were sure and you accuse me of lying, but now you are saying the Quran is a book of lies. It's corrupt. So how you were sure about yes. Adul Jalal, but now you are saying the Quran is corrupt. So how you can be sure that Adul Jalal is Allah saying that too? If there's any proof, it doesn't make sense actually. Uh, imagine, imagine I, you, you say to me that you are God, and then you say to me that I am the one, uh, 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 you don't say I am, he says he is the one with respect. 
Like in the Quran, it says it is He who created the world. How Allah He say it is He? You shouldn't say it's I. Yeah, but what's He? What uh, the names? It's us talking about Him, not Him talking about Himself. Thank you very much. But that that's mean that the one who is making the verse cannot be Allah because they are talking about Him. He's not Him talking about Himself. This is what you say. So if somebody speak about Christian Prince yeah. and he gave him a name, huh? Okay, he is talking about Christian Prince. Christian Prince is not saying that. So now you are saying the Quran is fabricated again. And then how we knew that Duz Jalalain is really a tribute or a name for Allah? It's somebody saying that, obviously. Maybe that person yeah, who made... Maybe that... that you're, so me, you're lying because you're, you're saying that all the names start with L, which is... No, wrong. all of them. They, and you are the one who helped me and we prove it to be true. It's it, it start El Jalalain. You will not find a single one of them without L. Al Jalalain, Al Rahman, Al Azim, etc. Yeah. So Your statement all says that they all start with Al. Yes, because 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 Dhu is not part of the name. Dhu Al Jalal, Dhu is a word mean the one, the one what? Al Jalal. So Al Jalal is his attribute, not Dhu. Correct? No. If I, I say if I say the one with the car, so is the one with the car. We are describing him by the car or the one? Which one part of the sentence to describe the, the person? If we say the one with the car. Yeah, he has a car. Oh, huh? Yes. Okay, so the description the is that how we describe him, how we recognize him by the one, by the car, not by the one. So the car will make him unique. The one with the red car. So what is unique? The red car, not the one. So you so got Allah. Mean that his name is Kar. What you're saying here that we should remove Ma'am. Dhu, which is not part of the name. We are not, rem we are not removing. We are, we are not Kar. removing anything because the Quran did not say even this is part of the name. It is you who added. They did not say this yeah, is a name. Okay, it, is, it doesn't say. It doesn't say that, that this is one. Is my friend is the word Dhu is a word by itself or it is connected to the word after it. It's a word by itself. So it's, it's not part of the name then. Like name How like God he have a name? Have the, the name have a three, four words? That make it a sentence. That's not a word no yeah. more. It's not a name no more. So who it says the one. Okay. And then what after that is the attribute of God, Al Jalal, and Al Ikram is attribute of Allah, not do. <laughs> Now listen. But this is not the. Now listen. There is no, also, no, also no, many no, no, problem. No, no, no problem. No, no, no. You see, Al always have to come in the beginning to speak about something specific. And when it's come to religion, you mention it for someone is unique. As an example, why you call Al Masih Al Masih? Why you don't call him Masih? Because there's only because, one Masih. Uh, yeah. There's only one person, right? Yeah. Okay. So he is Al Masih. Because there's no additional one beside him. There's no one else he has such a title. al Masih. That's why you are adding Al in the beginning. However, if you go in the Quran, you say, it says Isa al Masih. Correct? Yes. Okay. But Isa is a name by itself, and al Masih is a name by itself. They are not one name. But al Messiah actually is kind of an attribute. Isa is the name, and Al-Masih is an attribute. Okay, let me, because, let me, let me ask you. You uh, said Isa, you said al Masih is an attribute. to clean, and he came to cleanse. No, Masih had nothing to do with Masaha. This is not an Arabic word to compare, to translate it as Arabic. In Arabic, we say Masaha because this is Arabic. al Masih is a Hebrew word. It has nothing to do with, with the cleaning things. Secondly, I want to ask you, you said the name of the, the Messiah, the other name is Isa. What Isa mean? I don't know. It's uh, it's like they took uh, Yeshu and they right. they changed the. Uh, they How Yeshua became Isa? Okay, forget uh, about Isa. What Allah mean? Where? Allah, Allah. What Allah mean? You say your God is Allah. What Allah mean? Allah, I don't know. Hmm. So you worship a God, uh, God because the name is a f from coming from a foreign language. Muhammad he stole the name, the same as the Arab from the Aramaic, so they don't know what this name means. So what kind of God, his think, name, uh, you don't even know what his name is. It's form of Allah. His what? I think it's the male form of Allah. Allah. Uh, the, Allah. the masculine form of Allah. 
Allah is the masculine name of Allah? Yeah. So he is an idol? Yeah. He's, he's an idol and he's in the sky. It's just different. Because idols beforehand, they were like stones and stuff. And now they took the same idol and they put it in the sky where nobody can see him. Who put him in the sky? Uh, Muhammad. Muhammad, he put the idol in the sky? Yeah. Huh. Okay. I'm trying to understand. So now Allah, he was an idol. So do you worship Allah or you don't worship Allah? Not specifically. I, I, I worship the Creator. So you don't believe in Allah? Not specifically, no. Allah is just one name, Allah or uh, or uh, Yahweh or... Uh, no, no, but uh, you just say, it, but you just say those, Allah... For me, they point to the same okay. thing. Okay, Zuhair, you just say it. Allah is an idol. I'm asking you, do you worship the idol Allah or you don't? No. Okay. So what do you worship? Who is your God? The Creator. Who is that the Creator? I don't know. There is no evidence of him. But you said you are a Muslim. And who? Why? Why you? Why you call yourself yeah, a Muslim? I'm if you don't. Muslim. Okay. So you are a Muslim who don't believe in Allah. You don't believe in the Quran. You believe in God. Yeah. Okay. But why you choose the name Muslim then? Where is the name Muslim coming from? Uh, it's cultural. So what is your religion? Why well, you said you are a Muslim? What do you think you are? Culture, you are born of a Muslim family, so they call you Muslim. So what are you now? What do you think you are? I think I'm... Um, uh, I don't know. I don't know how to classify myself, but I worship the Creator. That's... Hmm. Okay, so you call me, you call me saying you are a Muslim, but now I notice that you are became a murtad. Now you are an ex-Muslim, because you just said you deny the Quran to be true. It's corrupt. Allah is a false god, is an idol. But you said something which I don't understand. That Muhammad he put Allah, he put Allah in the sky. Yeah. So basically, what I meant is that beforehand, all of the idols were like concrete stuff, like stones or I don't know trees or something like that hmm. so what the idea was that if we take an idol and hide him in the sky it's still an idol you know it's just invisible okay so you are saying that Muhammad he said okay destroy the idols and let us worship the same idol but as an invisible god in the sky yeah exactly they unified all the idols in one and he made it invisible so Muhammad he was a deceiver lying to us claiming that Allah is God but the fact he is still worshiping idol yes and the idol is in the sky whose name is Allah okay. he's invisible so what do you think about accepting as long you now you believe Allah is an idol Muhammad is a obviously you are believing Muhammad is a fraud he's a liar right yeah okay so why you don't accept Christianity and why you don't accept Jesus to be your, your Lord because I only believe in evidence. Mm -hmm. Okay, what is the evidence you, you are looking for? I don't know, because, for example, I, f I find that you're very unfair making fun of Islam, saying that it's cartoon, whereas you believe that Jesus can walk on water and raise people from the dead. I think this is cartoon too. So okay. you should be fair, if you criticize Islam, mm -hmm. you should criticize your religion the same way. No problem, we can do that. Who, who said you cannot? I mean, uh, you can go up in channel and laugh and say how Jesus can do that, but maybe you do not know. And then now we have miracles every day happening in the name of Jesus around the earth. You go right now and search for miracles that happen in, 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 you know, uh, for, for people around the earth, even in Islamic countries, where people get healed, people have, have you know, yeah, people, they get healed in the name of Jesus. So we have miracles happen every day and nobody can explain them. So when you say I need evidence, well, you need to look for them, you will find them. So if you, for example, go in YouTube and search for uh, uh, for Hinduism and uh, miracles of Hinduism, and you see that people are getting healed, are you going to become a Hindu? 
well, I have to examine it if it's true or not. You know, I have to examine because people, they can make a claim and you are welcome to examine what Christian they say about miracle happened to them. Do research, study it and check it out and see if they are lying. Maybe they are lying. Maybe, maybe I, you know, I can assure you there's some people they lie, you know, no problem. But I assure you too, that there's some people they are not lying and those miracles are true. Same time, Maybe, we, we, so I we think, believe. I we, think that personal experiences are not uh, good evidence. Like, for example, I can come to you and tell you that uh, I saw a cat flying. And I, I swear to God that I saw a cat flying. Are you going to believe me? Well, if it is true, if it's true, it's true. If you are honest and this is what you saw, why I will not believe you? I, I, will, I, will, give you an, I will give you an example. Uh, if I met with Zuhair, 2,000 years ago, and I told Zuhair that Zuhair, he lived in, the, let us say, in Morocco. He, uh, Zuhair, you will be in Morocco, I will be in USA, and guess what? We will be able to talk together. You will laugh at me, correct? Why? Because it's impossible. How you live in Morocco, I live in USA, we can talk in the same time, and you hear me in the same second. Oh, yeah. Right? So you will laugh at me, you will say to me, what is the proof? I will say, well, I cannot have it now. This is, it's hard for me to do it. Then you will say you are crazy and you are stupid. So what was stupid a thousand years ago, or maybe even 200 years ago, today is something very normal because we witness such a thing happening. So seeing, or let us say, claiming something hard to prove doesn't mean it's not exist. As an example, if I say to you right now, a lot of waves around us, and those waves are carry voice and images, you will laugh, <laughs> crazy, you know, what are you talking about? But all of us, we knew that we receive our TV channels through antenna, and we, what we see, we see pictures. A person, a human being talking live for us, right? Or through the yes. internet, okay. But this was impossible. So if I came uh, 500 years ago to Zuhair, and I say to him, Zuhair, you will be able to see me even if I am in China and you are in America. What you will say? Christian Prince, liar or crazy? Yes. Because I cannot prove it to you. So you are saying yes. just because you saw it, you believe it, not because it's true or not. Yes, but okay. It's, it's, so how come? I, how come I, when it's come uh, to Jesus? How come when it's come to Jesus? We are just saying, taking the negative part, saying it's impossible, cannot be, when yes, it can be possible. I mean, when the Quran says no human being can leave the zone of the earth and the heaven, and this is a human being, and yes, the human being, he left, he went to the space. So Muhammad, he made such a claim that nobody can do such a thing because it was impossible. He never thought that such a thing would happen. But when a human being, he went to the space, doesn't mean he's God. So if I say to you that I am God and I'm going to go to the space because you are just born in the jungle, you never saw such a thing. And then I go in front of you in a spaceship and I go. You will say, wow, this is, must be God. How he can do that? Why? Because you have no knowledge of uh, what technology is today, how he can do that. So your reception for it is different from somebody he lived in this time. So if we, if we take now, if we take now what's happening right now to the time of Muhammad and we do some something very simple like a 3D three dimension images a person appear to you in three dimension people will go crazy they will think this is God but it's just a trick of technology so which mean if you go by your sense and what you see to prove something even that can be deceiving and it's not true for me as a believer yes. I ask God to prove himself to me, not only a human being, he tell me about Jesus. I mean, who is stopping Zuhair from saying, okay, Christ, I want to believe in you. What about you show yourself to me? Give me a proof, give me a sign. Why you wouldn't do that? Why you and me now, we don't pray and say, Christ our Lord, show Zuhair a sign and prove to him that you are true and the only true God to worship. Because a human... Okay, a human, if we do this, what's supposed to happen? 
Well, if you have, if you are decent from your heart and you want it to happen, I believe it's going to come to you. It's going, you have to be decent from your heart. Decency, you see, you cannot fool God. That's what we believe. You cannot lie to him. You can say, okay, I'm going to give you a test. <laughs> hey, God, show yourself. If you are, if, if this is your purpose, well, you will never see God. You will never know God. You will never recognize God because simply you are just making a mockery. You don't believe in him anyway. But if you are speaking from your heart, asking for guidance, he will come to you. He will speak to you. He will guide you. He will show you. The Lord, he says, knock at my door and will open. So I asked you here to knock at the door of the Lord. Say, hey, Lord, from your heart, not just a person trying to deny, you know, be, be a decent person and ask him to show you a sign if you are a true God how I can believe in you help me just be truthful how, how, how come how come Jesus died as a Jewish and uh, where, where did Christianity come from actually I don't get it because but, Jesus but, was Jewish right no he was not a Jewish he's born of the Jew he is the creator of the Jews Jesus is exists before the Jews is a exist so what what how he can be Jewish if he is born of the Jews, no, I, mean, no, no, I don't mean God. I mean the the physical form. Doesn't the, doesn't matter. Doesn't the matter. Human. It Jesus. doesn't matter because because you see when you speak about a belief, you talk about the belief, not about your belief. So Jesus says, "Before Abraham, I am." Who is Abraham? He is the grand 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 grandfather of the Jews. He himself is not a Jew. He is the grandfather of the Jews. So before Abraham, I am. So before the Jews, he exists. Before the whole world is exist, he exists. So he is the God of the Jews. He's born, let us say, if, if Jesus was born between the Indonesian, okay, by flesh, he, he location, you know, but doesn't make him really, uh, I mean, in, Indonesian, because his existence have nothing to do with that date. He appeared to us in that date. He came to us in that date. So, so what, what was uh, the religion of Jesus? He's God, what religion? He don't have religion, he's God. <laughs> he's God himself. Is it atheist? I mean, he's God. He's the he's the God himself. How God can be atheist? <laughs> he is the God. So when you say he's the God, it means everybody worship him, belong to him, and he don't have. Okay. What about his companions? Well, that lived with him. What's what was their religion? They are Christians because what why they are called the Christians? The name of Christian came because they follow Christ. So whoever believes in Christ, follow Christ, he is called a Christian. So they are Christian. Even though they are born of the Jewish faith, and they are Jews, but they are Jewish Christians. Because Jesus, he is the God of the Jews too. It's just a continue of belief. The Jews, the Jews themselves, they are Christian in the same time by believing in the Messiah. But those who do not believe in the Messiah, they cannot be called the Christians. This is the simple reason why we call Jews now and we say Christians. Otherwise, all the disciples of Jesus, they were Jews. But they are Christians. So, in the time of Jesus, there was there was no book. He, everybody practiced uh, Judaism, right? There was only the, the Old Testament. And the New Testament was written after his death, right? Yeah. And? After his resurrection. And? So? I don't get it. So what, what, uh, what is different? You see, uh, the, the Messiah teaching is what is important, is not a book writing. The Lord, he said, the earth and the heaven, they will disappear. They will be demolished. But my word will not. And what he meant by that, his teaching. You see, we don't worship books. We are not kissing pages. Mm -hmm. We are not worshipping sentences, we are worshipping the God. And He gave us His word as a guidance. So He left, but He is with us. He said, every two of you mention my name, I will be between them. Which means, right now as we speak, the Messiah is listening to you and listening to me. And this is why I'm taking the opportunity, Israel, saying to you, accept the Messiah, pray from your heart to Him, say, Lord, if you are the true Lord, let me accept you. Let me let me have you in my life. You have to be decent. You have to be truthful. And then the Lord Himself, He will He will He, he will He will uh, give you all reasoning you are looking for.
So do you like do you, do you like to to pray to the Messiah, ask him to show himself to you? Yeah, we can do it now. Yeah, go ahead. What do you what, do? Do you like to to say it your own words? Because I I like to hear from words from your heart. Ask him the Messiah. Whatever you want, and I will be listening. Okay. I ask you, Messiah, to show yourself to me. Does that work? Oh, you know, I don't know because you see, I don't. It doesn't sound like you are making it from your heart. It sounds like, okay, Christian Prince, he told me to say this, so I'm going to say it. You see, I want something to come from your heart. You have to believe in that, not just do what I just said to you. So maybe you are not ready now, but you need to say it from your heart. I cannot teach you what to say. We are not Muslims who say shahada. We don't do that. So you have to speak from your heart. Request to the Lord to show himself okay. in a very, let us say, we are not doing act. I don't want you to do act and say, okay, I will speak from my heart. I will change the tone of my face. No, my voice. I want you to say it when you mean it. So if you don't feel like you can mean it now, it's okay. You know, think about okay, it. Okay, I'll later. All right, no problem. But call me later, anytime, if you wish, and I will be happy to help you. And let us, I will pray for you, and I ask all the Christians here to pray for our friends who are here, here, who denied Allah, he denied Muhammad. So he's ready to accept the truth, and we pray that the truth will set him free. Thank you. All right. Thank you, Zahir, for calling. I hope to hear it from you soon. All right? Thank you very much. You're welcome. Take care. Bye. All right. All right. The funny, the first thing he said to me, you are a liar. If I show you the first text he sent me, you are a liar. <laughs> Isn't it funny? You are a liar. This is the first text he sent me in Skype. You are a liar, he said to me. I don't I don't get offended by what they say. Prove it. All right? You can call me all the names you want. But I guarantee you. The second you start using your brain, you will find yourself defendless. Because how you can defend someone like Muhammad? How you can defend someone like Islam? How, or, or, or Allah, the false god? It's impossible. This man Muhammad never used a Rahman, and then suddenly the word Rahman appearing everywhere. Because if he use it, they will not ask him who is a Rahman. Why you are calling him a Rahman? But because they never heard it before from him. Why this guy, he never said that word before? How come? Look what they said to him. They said, Muhammad used to call into Allah, one Allah, and now he is calling into two gods. Why? Because the, the God of Rahman is the God of the the person they call him Musaylama, the one Muslims accuse him to be a false prophet, exists in the time of Muhammad. Muhammad even hijacked the name of the God of the other guy. And he added to his name, he liked it. So they said to him, oh, Muhammad always used to call for one God, his name is Allah, and now they are calling for two, Allah and the Rahman. So look what he said to him. And they said to him, the only Rahman we know, the beneficent, is Rahmanul Yamama meaning Musaylama the liar. So this guy is accusing him to be a liar. Muslim, they make fun of him. Why Muhammad taking the name of his God from him? And he himself, he called himself a Rahman. So what the response of Muhammad say? Huh? I call him Allah or call him a Rahman. It doesn't matter. All good names belong to Allah. Here we go. He hijacked the name. Do you see how the fraud work? And then if this is what happened, then how the name of Ar-Rahman is exist everywhere in the Quran? 
before this verse was revealed, we should not see the word of Ar Rahman appear even once. And here we need to ask ourselves why Allah He hides such a name. And as you see, the Muslims they start Allah Ar Rahman Ar Rahim. It's number two in the list, which means it is the most important after Allah. So how come this name did not appear right away? What was surprising about it? Because simply he's a liar. He stole it from the guy who is Rahman al Yamama. Right? 